Okay, I wanted to make a quick video on how easy it is to mount your own UTV wheel and tire. Hang on to this thing. If you're getting a new set of wheels, they all come with this little protective thing. It'll help you uh, keep from scratching it when you're doing the final mounting. Um, or a piece of cardboard works too. In this case, we're gonna use both. So this indentation is very important. This is the side you wanna put on first. And you're gonna use that both, both sides of the tire. So kind of push your wheel into the tire. Let the bead of the tire get into that groove. There you go. The more bead of the tire that's in the groove, the easier it'll be to spoon on the tire. These big uh, spoons are from Summit Racing. They're about 25 bucks. Grab the bead of the tire. There you go. See how it's going inside that groove. Push the spoon down while you pull up on the wheel slightly. Let's see. Oop, almost. One more. Grab. Okay. Okay, let's do it one more time. Push down on the tire so it doesn't scratch the wheel. And the last one. Okay, now I'm gonna flip the tire over. This again will protect the wheel. It's the back side of the wheel, it doesn't really matter, but some people are really particular about getting scratches on their wheels. Okay, now time to scan on the tire. You're pushing that bead into that groove again in the wheel, that indentation. The further in you can get that, the less spooning you can do. See there, it's in there. So using this little part of the spoon, gonna lift up on the tire, grab the wheel, pop it on. Grab the other spoon, grab the wheel. That might've been too far away, but we could get lucky. Yep, there it goes. Okay, one more. All right, that's it. So if you noticed, this Valor wheel has eight lug holes. This is a dual drilled wheel. It fits on Polaris, Can-Am, Honda, Kawasaki, everything, which is really cool, obviously, except for the new five lug wheels. Valor Off-Road, summitracing.com. Okay, we're in the shop a little closer to the air. And so to seat the tire on the wheel takes a little effort. You'll notice we have a ratchet strap around the circumference of the tire. The handle of the ratchet strap, number one, is right near the valve stem. What the ratchet strap does, it pushes the sides of the tire towards the bead of the wheel, and it'll help um, put the tire on when we put air to it. We're gonna do a second ratchet strap, and we're gonna do the handle of the, this ratchet strap just the opposite of the first one. Close to the center as you can get it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but near the center. Have them uh, snugged up, and then we're going to spray the bead with very soapy water. Soap works really well. That's what they use in all the tire shops, and it doesn't attract dirt. It's easy to clean up. You're going to do that on the back side too. Put a bunch in there, roll it around, okay? Then what we use is an air chuck that locks itself on to the valve stem. Like that. Then you can operate the ratchet straps if needed. This tire already started um, going on, so pressure is there. We're gonna release the ratchet straps. Okay, now, those loose, we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch the bead, we're gonna watch the tire pop onto the wheel. This tire says 35 pounds max to seat the bead, so we're not gonna go over that. 
And if it takes a long time, we just heard the, the rear one pop on. If it takes a long time, don't be afraid to pop the air off. Check it with the uh, with an air with the air gauge. So we'll do that just for the heck of it. But you can see air is, is still building. The tire is popping on. Um, looks like it's about to come on, but we're gonna stop, check it just to make sure. Okay, we're at about 24 pounds. So we could put 10 more in there and still feel safe about it. There it goes, it's on. We're gonna lower that pressure to 20 before we test them out, but there you go. That's how to inflate a tire. That's how to mount a tire on a wheel and um, properly seat the bead. There you go.